A set of Corsa Evo is just around the corner and you might want to have it on your Christmas list because this game changes everything. Whether you're into sim racing or cars in general, you've probably heard the buzz about a set of Corsa Evo. It's the next big thing from Kuna Simulazioni and people are already hyped. I mean, we're talking next gen graphics, better physics, a fresh take on what makes a racing sim awesome, and rain effects come with the game. Absolute game changer. We thought a set of Corsa was a good game before, but this will completely blow expectations out the window. Early access is coming mid-January in 2025 and expected to be around $50 with DLCs being trickled in. Let's get into the details. First things first, EVO is built on Unreal Engine 5. If that doesn't mean much to you, think of it this way. The game is going to look insane. Like weather effects so realistic you might forget you're not outside. Tracks will feel alive with lightning and details that make every race feel epic. Just take a look at some of these comparisons from the original Assetto Corsa. But it's not just about the graphics. The physics engine is getting a serious upgrade too, so if you thought a set of course that felt realistic before, Evo is a game changer in car physics. Okay, let's talk about the OG Assetto Corsa. If you're like me, you've probably spent hours tweaking car setups, running laps, and maybe yelling at the AI for driving like maniacs. Evo is supposed to build on that foundation, but fix a lot of stuff we nitpicked. Better AI, smoother physics, and maybe just maybe improvements to multiplayer. But all in all, the CEO has explained the physics to be like driving for the simple pleasure of driving. This will not be a simple arcade game. Assetto Corsa Evo will be a well-made hardcore racing simulator. Now this is the part I'm most curious about. Kunos has said that he wants the game to be played for some time until they let user mods in. But I'm sure it's highly possible as that is what made the original Assetto Corsa so fun. I can see where the hesitation comes from though, as the modding scene originally is very harsh on legality. What? What the fuck? In the trailer, we all saw the stunning Weber effect and the impact it has on the game. Unlike the original Assetto Corsa, EVO will have all Weber effects included in the game with no additional cost. I'm sure that makes many players relieved. The Weber is going to be dynamic and have a gravity-based effect. Simply put, the Weber will move around the track to be as close to realism as possible. For example, puddles could form in divots of tracks leading for racers to have to go around and compromise on the optimal lines. Or cars could make dry lines in the track that have a much bigger impact on traction. The Weber will have a massive impact on not just the realism, but also how you drive around and take corners. And the mods. The modding community is what made Assetto Corsa so special. EVO has strong support for mods but it is not expected to come with the game originally. It will take time. In my opinion, if mods don't get implemented, the game will not be as enjoyable as its predecessor. But it sounds like Kunos and their team know what they are doing. Let's talk about the game as it progresses through the early access phase. As I've mentioned previously, custom mods will slowly be implemented and many more different game modes and features. For example, open world free roam and traffic with endless roads and exploration. Additionally, expecting things like workshops, car dealerships, and gas stations. It genuinely seems like Assetto Corsa Evo will be much bigger than anyone expected. So is Assetto Corsa Evo going to live up to the hype? Honestly, I think it has a ton of potential. If Kunos delivers on all of these promises, this could be the simulator we've all been waiting for. Whether you're into competitive racing, just love cruising beautiful tracks, or you're a sucker for mods like me, there's a lot to be excited about. What do you think? Are you hyped for EVO, or are you sticking with the classic Assetto for now? Drop your thoughts in the comments, and hey, if you enjoyed hanging out today, hit that like button and subscribe for more racing talk. Until next time.